least you can wish me luck. What's up, YouTube? What's going on? It's your boy, Omar. Yo, welcome back to another video. Yo, guys, I'm at work right now, but I have to talk about this. Yo, I just finished right now watching BMF Season 2, but no, 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 no. I looked online and I realized why is nobody online talking about this fire ass show besides power universe shit no one's talking about the BMF shit and to my people to my star fans to my power fans to the people we as fans watch BMF and power and all that shit right all anything 50s done Courtney and all that shit we we fuck with but let me tell you something I check online and I'm like how is nobody in their goddamn mind how come no one online is talking about bmf bro black mafia family bro so i said all right bet this is what you're gonna do bro this is what you're gonna do omar you're gonna talk about bmf season one and bmf season two because i feel like no one's talking about it so let's start off with season one of bmf bro yo we got our man meech bro aka demetrius bro bro and my man terry bro Yo, first of all, shout out to my man, Little Meech. This nigga, hands down, kills it, bro. And I always, like, envy actors who are inexperienced and go straight into it, though. Because I feel like, yo, I, I want to do that. So I'm like, all right, an inexperienced nigga like me. Uh, but when I look at Meech, I'm like, yo, that's an in inexperienced guy who's never acted. Can carry a whole fucking show, bro. Yo, salute to my fucking guy, bro. Salute to my fucking guy. Yo, we have Meech, bro, who's trying to do everything in his power to get the money, bro. Like, you see how Meech and Terry try to originally try to get their money to support their family, bro. But then the dad is just too much. The dad's like, yo, bro, you selling drugs in my ass. Which I understand, but at the same time, it's like, yo, bro, we got no money. The mom's struggling, the dad's struggling. Yo, the little sister wants to go on a school trip, and the dad's like, nah, we don't got the money. But Meech is like, ah, oh, I got you, I got you, I got you, bro. Like, we, we, like, we got this, bro. And then, like, uh, both both Meech and Terry got children and like they're looking at it like yo how the fuck are we gonna do this bro so like uh, you're a product you're a product of your own environment bro like you have to just what they do but then it's like they flipped it and turned it into something crazy which is the fucking show bro like you got Lamar you got fucking Brian you got everyone in the show that you're kind of like these motherfuckers I don't I don't trust these motherfuckers. Like, this nigga Brian fucking sleeping with the enemy. She's working with Lamar. I was just like, bruh. Despite all that bullshit, though, they managed to get that unscathed, bro. Then And Lamar, I got to start off with Lamar. Man, Lamar. Lamar fucking, to me, he carried that season one, bro. Lamar was fucking crazy, bro. Shout out to my African nigga, bro. They are niggas. Yo, shout out to my man Lamar, bro. This nigga was wild, bro. Because I can't, I don't understand what his thought process was, but then he's a sucking fucking sociopath, bro. This nigga is so fucking crazy that um I was like, I, if I ever met this guy, Lamar, I don't want to be in a room with this nigga. And because the motherfucker was killing everyone. Like, just, can you feel the rain? Can you? Like, what did he say? What is Lamar's quote, bro? We're like, bro, this nigga Lamar was a fuck. Like, bro, this nigga, this nigga kills somebody talking about, can you stand the rain? Or can you feel the rain? However it is, new edition or whatever, bro. This nigga's talking about the rain's coming down, bro. Like, yo, bro, like, I'm sitting there like, holy fucking shit, bro. So now, fast forward that, we get to season two, bro. Season two, I realize it's more of a, a Terry story. Like, I, like it's so weird to think about. Like, like, season one was both of them, but then it was more of a, it was Meech telling his perspective. And then season two was more of Terry telling his perspective. Because my nigga, holy shit, bro. Shit was going crazy, left and right. Like, bro, first of all, Mad shit was going on in season two. Like, let, let, let's start off with me trying to get his foot into the big boy business, which him, yo, I want to sell drugs. I want to talk to the connect. I want to speak to the Colombians. Like, he is trying to fit his way into being who he was back in the day. Like, I like like Meech is in jail now, so like we're seeing the story of this man get to from rags to riches, which is kind of like. You gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. Like I, I can't, I can't be mad at it. Like, like he, he was put in a position. He had to do what he had to do, and now this is what he's doing, man. He is fucking big meat <laughs> and Terry, bro. But no, it was crazy though. Like the cop who was trying to get him, bro, the whole entire time, bro. The detective was wild, knowing setting niggas up, telling people to, oh, you gonna do this, you gonna do that. But then at the same time, you just kind of like, bro, you just a scum, bro. And they're like, oh, he's a crooked cop. Mm, like he is a crooked cop but then it's just like 
Mm, like, he's still fucking trying to do things, bro. And shit with his story line goes even crazier. Like, y'all gotta watch that. I'm not even gonna spoil that shit, but y'all gotta go watch what happens with his stuff, bro. He gets a, he gets, uh, Terry, like, Terry meets his woman that he's gonna be with, which is played by Lala Anthony. And I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna front, man. <laughs> yo, my man Terry did what I was, any man would have done if he saw Lala, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I'm sorry, bro. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> Shout out to my man Da Vinci, cause he doing, he holding it down, bro, for all the niggas. This show was amazing, bro. Like, yo, I'm excited to see what season three gotta do, bro. Like season two, season one, bro, first two seasons back to back, yo, were a fucking phenomenal. Yo, I had to just get my thoughts, cause I just finished season two, and I'm like, ain't no way, bro. I gotta wait a whole fucking year, but then I saw two chains posted season three. It's gonna be in episode one. So I say, oh my God. Yo, whenever it's time for season four or five to happen, bro, I gotta be in BMF, bro. Yo, like, I gotta be like a DC young fly. I gotta at least either, they gotta either kill me or I gotta kill somebody. It's either or, bro. Like, that's the only way I gotta be on the show, bro. Yo, you guys gotta watch BMF, bro. To my fans, to the, who, everyone who's watched Power and BMF, bro. Yo, people who's never heard of it, y'all gotta watch it, bro. And let y'all niggas know that this show should be the one that y'all should watch, bro. Like, yo, watch it for everything, for the acting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm laughing because I'm thinking of the fucking um, City Girls acting scene. <laughs> she keep <laughs> no, no, no. Shout out to her. Shout out to her, though. No. Because she's doing her thing, though. No, because that would have been me, bro. Bro, talking about it. If they said cry right now. They're about, oh, get this nigga out of here, bro. But, yo, shout out to her. She's doing her thing, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yo, BMF is the show where inexperienced actors go and do what they got to do, bro. Like, we got mad celebrities on that show. But, yo, bro, that's all I got to say. But, yo. Y'all gotta watch BMF, watch it. Yo, it's been your boy Omar. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Watch fucking BMF, bro. That's all I gotta say. But all right, I'll see you next video. Peace.